Hi, I'm Michael Dubson, and welcome back to The Convection Connection. Today, in Episode 2, the ever-enthusiastic Larry Green and I will discuss atoms and temperature. So we all know that the Earth is made up of atoms, atoms everywhere, but they're little guys. How little are they? Well, Larry, you see this apple? The size of an atom compared to the size of this apple is the same as the size of this apple compared to the size of the whole Earth. So, the number of atoms inside this apple is the same as the number of apples that would fit inside a hollow Earth. That's exactly right. It's a fruitful analogy. <laughs> <laughs> now, the air around us is made of atoms, mostly nitrogen and oxygen atoms. If we could see the air with super microscopic atomic vision, we could see these air molecules are moving rapidly. They're bouncing all around like tiny balls, bouncing off each other and bouncing off any surface they come in contact with, like our skin. So now let's talk about temperature, and we're not talking about the weather. That's right. Temperature is a measure of how fast atoms are moving. Hot objects have their atoms jiggling very rapidly, while cold objects have their atoms jiggling less rapidly. And we've got a couple of beautiful demonstrations of this back in the lab. Let's go. OK. Mike, you've set up an an elaborate experiment here. What are you trying to show? Well, we've got something called Schlieren imaging. And this is a technique for imaging very small changes in the temperature of the air. Like on a hot day when you're looking down the road, you can see the heat waves shimmering off the road. Mm -hmm. We're going to magnify that effect greatly with this technique. We can do it right in here. Right here. So we're going to start by showing what you see with a curling iron. If you put your hand over there, you might be able to just feel a little heat. bit of heat. Yeah. Yes. So let's put the curling iron in the Schlieren imaging. And you can see the heat waves just coming up off the top of the right. curling iron. So next we have a cold object. Here I've got an ice cube. And we're going to see what Schlieren has to say about ice cubes. It's just the opposite, isn't it? Yes. Notice that the cold air coming off the ice cube is falling because it's denser than the surrounding air. Now, all warm objects glow. A hot coal glows. Uh, you and I are glowing right now, except we're glowing dimly in a kind of light called infrared light. So you can see our infrared images. Mm -hmm. Our skin is very bright. Our clothes are cooler. My glasses are cool. Now, I'm holding a cup of iced tea while you're holding a cup of hot tea. And the thing to notice is that your cup is white hot while mine is cool blue. So we're looking at temperature not light. That's right. Not the visible light. We're looking at infrared light, which is a measure of the temperature. Next time, in Episode 3, Larry Green and I will discuss the fantastic forces due to air pressure. <laughs>